Hi, this is Scott Picard with Verde Real Estate Group with today's buyer tip. Along with me is Brian Thompson from NRL Mortgage. How are you doing, Brian? I'm fantastic. And you? Uh, I'm doing great. So today's topic is condo buyers financing tips. You're thinking about buying a condo and you don't know where to start. And we, we got to back up a little bit and tell you it's a little bit different than buying a single family home. Correct, Brian? There's no question about it. Absolutely. Okay. Yep. Like, so when, you know, so say I'm a new buyer and I'm looking at a condo, uh, what's the first thing I should know about? Yeah. I mean, the first thing you, you got to get an agent who's familiar with condos. That's, that's big. Um, cause condos are a different structure. There's more units. There's more uh, bylaws, guidelines. The first thing is finding out if that condo is warrantable or non-warrantable. And the what difference, does that mean? Yeah, the difference is warrantable condo has been approved already by Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac for financing. It's an open market. You're not going to have any problems with it. A non-warrantable condo means that it has not, which means there might be a higher percentage of those condominiums rented. Um, it also might mean that the, HO, the HOA or the homeowners association is not in good financial health because people have been missing or are delinquent in their homeowners association. Um, there's factors that go into that, but it means that it has not been approved, which also means that you're going to need a different type of financing, which is going to give you a higher interest rate. Um, it's not going higher to higher down payment probably. Yep. Yep. It's going to factor in all of those. So well, and it's interesting too, because this information isn't, it's not like it's published on the MLS, right? Your, your agent or you yourself as the buyer, your loan officer, someone's got to make some, some calls here and get some basic information. And I'll tell you, a lot of times the person listing the condo may not know that. So you're dealing with the property management company, maybe a HOA board member who's not very responsive because these are generally unpaid and underappreciated positions. You're right. So it can take a little bit of digging to get some of this information. So what, um, what kind of loan programs? I, I, you know, we're talking primarily conventional, but is it also possible that someone could do an FHA loan program on a purchase? Absolutely. Yep. FHA and FHA, we do have down payment assistance available, and that would qualify on a warrantable account of VA, which is a veteran's loan. Um, typically, uh, a government United States um, rural loan or a rural development loan, which is a zero down program. Those are allowed, but it's hard to find a condo in an area that's actually approved in a rural area. Right. So, but yeah, I, I mean, if you find a warrantable condo, it opens up the doors for pretty much any type of financing that you can find. Well, and it's really important to know what kind of restrictions too can kick out a condo and find, you know, the financing. Like I know like VA, uh, they, they're, they basically don't allow any restrictions on rental. Like, so if I've had people have tried to buy a VA loan you know, with a VA loan and they get a copy of the bylaws and say, we will not approve this loan based on what the bylaws, you basically have two choices. You can A, not buy that property or B, have the association change their, their declaration in bylaws and that's never going to happen. Right. So you just, right. you move on to the next place. How important is uh, the homeowner association dues in, in this picture? Do, you, do, you, do, do they matter? When someone's buying, does that go into the equation as they far do. as what people qualify for? Absolutely, because when we're talking about the non-warrantable or warrantable piece, if you have um, above a 16% non-payment factor or delinquent homeowner association fees in that, that building, you're going to probably run into the non-warrantable or not approved project. So it's extremely important to getting that condo project approved. Um, and there may be, for example, 20 units in it. Right. If you have a 16% delinquency in those homeowners association dues or more, you're probably going to run into a situation where that, that condo project or that individual unit is not going to be approved to purchase with regular financing. Right, right. And that was a big problem back during the crash. Oh, yeah. I mean, Huge. most, you know, these, there were whole projects that were basically in foreclosure. So the only yep. people that were buying were cash buyers. Um, I, I also know that reserve requirements come into play, and I think the number is 10%. That you know the condo of the of the association budget needs to be allocated for building reserves. Yep. And I know that if they don't have that allocated, that can kick you out of financing as well or change the terms. Yep. Ten percent or more because they they hold the ins uh, exterior and uh, structure insurance as well. So if a right. hailstorm comes through, whatever they got to have the funds to replace that. And there's a you know there's a whole myriad of other factors which we we, we don't necessarily want to get in the weeds in, but you know work with someone who understands 
some of the red flags, you know, if there's commercial property there, how does that impact financing? It can really, really get, uh, you know, get sticky as you go down into the, uh, into the proverbial rabbit hole when dealing with condos. So my advice is work with a lender who does condo financing regularly and also with a real estate agent who understands the process because it can make a huge difference, not only in the experience, but also in True fees and out of pocket fees. There's no question. And we, once you get into whole homeowners association fees, you could be looking at a hundred dollars a month to all the way. You know, we've, we've seen them above a thousand a month, and that has a large impact on what the borrower can qualify for. Right, right, awesome. So, all right. Well, I'm Scott Picard with Verde Real Estate Group, along with Brian Thompson with NRL Mortgage. Uh, Brian, if someone wants to get a hold of you, how do they do that? They can do that by phone or text at seven six three four four two one two three two or email at brian.thompson at nrlmortgage.com. And we at Verde can be reached at 612-600-8888, 612-600-8888 via call or text. And we hope this topic has been useful today. And like always, if we can be a further service, please let us know. Thank you.